thank you for your excellent talk. Uh, I would like you to just uh, give me uh, 10 points for the students uh, regarding the cuts, regarding every cut, maybe the one salient point. So you need to understand uh, what is your purpose of the cut. So if you are cutting, your aim is to uh, cut so that you can fit your implant to it. And ideally, you should be able to, whatever you're cutting, you refill it with your implants. And you should cut minimum. You don't want to cut too much. So first of all, you need to know your implant. Some implants are 9 millimeter distally or 10 millimeter, and they're different posteriorly. So you need to know this implant. So this is generally, we said, for the ease of it, let's say 9 millimeter is the most common one. So let's say 10 millimeter for, for you to understand. So first thing is to how much to cut. Depend on your what what is the thickness of the implant, and when you're talking about thickness of the implant, you're talking about mainly on the femoral side. You're talking about the distal thickness and the posterior thickness because anteriorly we just don't want to notch, and that's all our purposes. The second thing you need to know is what kind of alignment you want. So in uh, most of the time, what alignment you want is a mechanically aligned knee. So you want to decide. What angle should I cut it to get me mechanically aligned knee? And since the mechanical aligned knee, you can draw it from your femur to the center of the uh, knee joint from uh, femoral head. Well, that's a difficult thing. The easiest thing is to get a femoral canal and then if preoperatively you know what it is difference between this and mechanical axis, that will be your angle of the cut. So your angle is cut, your thickness is cut depending on your implant. Then is to decide the posterior cut. And posterior cut, two things you need to know. One is the rotation. So we already said with the access to the posterior condylar, easiest to find. Epicondyle is quite difficult to find uh, paraoperatively. So is the wide side line is a lot of variation to draw it. Posterior condylar, easy to feel and easy to put your jig. So three degree external rotation to it, give you good, uh, good alignment.